Good evening, everybody. Super Jack Jordan here. Now, I'm finally going to be doing my comparison video of three different versions of Monsters, Inc. On the left is the original 2002 VHS. In the middle is the DVD counterpart. And on the right is the 2013 Collector's Edition Blu-ray. This will be a video response to my original comparison of two different versions of Monsters, Inc. I did way back in February of 2014, so more than six years ago. Anyway, it's... Uh, sorry I, it, it took me a while to do this video... Uh, because one is just from school and work and stuff. The other is, I decided to save it for tonight because we all know Monsters, Inc. is a Pixar film. And speaking of Pixar, we all know tomorrow Pixar's new film Onward is coming to theaters, which for those wondering, yes, I will be seeing Onward. I will be seeing that Saturday afternoon with my best friend Luke since me and him have a tradition. We've been Pixar fans for years, so now we have a tradition. Whenever a new Pixar film comes out, me and him would go see it in the theater. So, yep, ever since Inside Out, we've kept that tradition alive. Anyway... Uh, without further ado, let's get started, shall we? Here, let's just... It's kind of hard to... Yeah, sorry, it's just that since the DVD doesn't have a slip cover... There we go. There we go. Sorry about that. All right, first up, we have the original 2002 VHS of Monsters, Inc. It says an instant classic, stated by the late Joel Siegel of Good Morning America, from the creators of Toy Story. As we know, this was Pixar's fourth film after Toy Story, A Bug's Life, and Toy Story 2, being released November 2nd, 2001, if I'm not mistaken. And unfortunately, the clamshell is in horrible condition. I got this at the Salvation Army Thrift Store in North and Surround back in February of 2014, so I apologize for the cl clamshell being in terrible condition. But the tape still works just fine. Anyways, you can see here's the spine. And the back. Funny, entertaining, and vi visually invented to stay by People Magazine. Also, this Monsters, Inc. is... Supremely clever, fun for kids and adults alike. A stay by CBS TV. Has some VHS bonus features. The all-new animated short film, Mike's New Car, For the Birds, A Sneak Peek of Finding Nemo, Hilarious Outtakes, and the Monsters Inc. Company play, Put That Thing Back Where It Came From, or So Help Me. <laughs> so yeah, for the previews on here at the beginning, like I said, there is a preview for the theatrical release of Fi Finding Nemo. There's also a preview for the Platinum Mission VHS and DVD release of Beauty and the Beast, as well as the theatrical release of Treasure Planet and the... Uh, uh, the VHS, the home video and DVD release is both Lilo and Stitch and Inspector Gadget 2. And then it has the For the Birds short film before the movie. And then after the movie's over, after the Mike's new car short, it has a promo for Flick's Adventureland in Disneyland. Or was it Disney World? I don't remember. But anyway, yeah. Yeah, there's a design with all the characters. Looks actually kind of cool they did that. And here's the tape. It's a blue tape, and it has an ink label. Yeah, tape's a little dirty, but like I said, the tape still plays just fine. It's got a print date, July 8th, 2002. That was printed just 22 days before my first birthday, before I turned one years old. So yeah, and this was the first Pixar film to be released after I was born. Yeah, but still, this would be just a monster thing. is very good, so hopefully your copy will be in much better condition than my copy. <laughs> And now we have the DVD counterpart, which is the same thing. I've had this DVD since around 2002. I know a lot of people have this DVD. I know a lot of people have the VHS as well. Anyways, you can see here's the spine. The back. This one's a smart, inventive, and exec executed with state-of-the-art fine state by David Anson of Newsweek. Unless he just also has those same... Things. It also has a filmmaker's audio commentary with the director and stuff. Also has Explore Two Worlds and One Monster DVD. The Monster World and the Human World and all this. And it is THX certified, both the VHS and the DVD are. And for directors and everything, speaking of which, uh, we all know this was the first Pixar film to not be directed by John Lasseter. Uh, since the first three Pixar films, Toy Story, A Bug's Life, and Toy Story 2, those were all, released by, those were all directed by John Lasseter. This film was directed by Pete Docter. He, uh, he would later go on to, to direct uh, Up, 
Inside Out, and he's also directing the next Pixar film that comes out after Onward, which is Soul. I think Soul, yeah. And also, speaking of which, the director, the prequel to the film Monsters University, uh, was directed by Dan Scanlon, and Dan Scanlon is the director of Onward, so that's kind of cool. Move this up. I'll show you the DVD guy in a minute, but it's packaged like this. Here's disc one, which has the movie, movie which has Mike and Sully. And here's disc two with the bonus features. It has Smitty, Neilman, Ross, Mr. Waternews, Randall, and Celia. I know some copies of the 2002 Platinum Mission DVD of Beauty and the Beast have this disc, disc packaging style like this. Unfortunately, my copy doesn't have that, though. But anyway, I'll show you the guide real quickly. Yep, there's 32 chapter selections. This is what's on disc one. The disc two na navigational overview for disc two. There's a tiny, tiny rip right there, but it's not very noticeable. And uh, behind the bonus features, and this, there's the back. Yeah, but this DVD of Monsters, Inc. is very, very good indeed. Unfortunately, this DVD went out of print sometime in 2000, late 2012, early 2013. And last but not least, we have the 2013 Collector's Edition Blu-ray of Monsters, Inc. This was released back in, I believe, January, early, late January, early February of 2013. It was, it was released to promote Monsters University, which was coming out in theaters that summer. Which I did see Monsters University back in... Uh, uh, Summer 2013, I believe I saw it twice. But yeah, uh, I don't know who else has this Blu-ray though. I know Max Nation 1980 has the two, the original 2009 Blu-ray, which I, I unfortunately don't have. Anyway, I know Blu-ray World Order has the 3D version of this. Here's the spine, the back, and a visually dazzling, action-packed, and hilarious stayed by Raves, the Boston Herald. Most features also has those, uh, the Mike's new car and for the bird short. It also has a filmmaker's round table and the audio commentaries included. On. It also includes a Toy Story short film, Party Source Rex. That was one of those Toy Story tune shorts that that was shown in theaters attached to the 3D re-release of Finding Nemo. Also has disc two as Roz's 100 Door Challenge Game, Pixar's Factory Fun Tour, Banish Confidence, and much much more. And then the DVD has the audio commentary as well. Yeah, the Party Source Rex short that was shown before the re-release of Finding Nemo. Not not this film, because actually, when this film was re-released in 3D, uh, it was, uh, For the Birds was reattached to the film again, which was kind of cool. Anyway. Let's see, we got a digital copy code. I got this Blu-ray off of eBay uh, last month. Anyway, here's Blu-ray Disc 1, which has the movie, and it has Mike and Sully. Here's Blu-ray Disc 2 with the bonus features, which again has Mike and Sully, and then some more in the monsters. And here's the DVD, which again has Mike and Sully. Yeah, this Blu-ray Monsters, Inc. is good. This Blu-ray, unfortunately, went out of print because it got replaced by some newer ones. And Monsters, Inc., uh, uh, along with Monsters University, were also actually just released on 4K Blu-rays uh, two days ago, I think. Which is kind of cool, but I'm not going to get it because I'm fine with this. And I also have Monsters University on 3D Blu-ray. Yep. Anyway, there you go. That's my comparison video of three different versions of Monsters, Inc. I will see you all for my next video uh, coming soon. But anyway, uh, I will do a community post to let you know my thoughts on Onward. So yeah, hope you all enjoyed the video. Oh, have a good night.